Hi, I'm Cass. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so, so excited to share with you my March bullet journal setup. Now, March is always a bit of a special month for me because it's my birthday month and I love my birthday. So I always try to make it a little bit extra special. And so this month I decided to theme it after Crescent City, which is a book series by Sarah J Mass. Now recently the second book, which you can see behind me, House of Sky and Breath was released. So I thought this was a perfect time. Plus I adore the series. So I thought it was a perfect theme for this month. And what makes this extra exciting is I'm back drawing maps. Now, if you followed my channel a while back, you know that I used to do a lot of intricate book maps and I kind of fell off and got burnt out, but I'm back for the time being. I'm gonna try not to get burnt out again with doing them because they do take a long time, but I am so, so proud of how the setup turned out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Hello, hello, and welcome to another bullet journal video. I am so excited because today, this month, this video marks the start of the fourth year of me doing bullet journal videos. I started back in March, 2019 on an old channel, and here we are, three years later, still going strong. So that's exciting, and like I also said in the intro, it's my birthday month, and you know, I like to make my birthday a little bit special because I'm a narcissist, what can I say? No, I'm kidding. I just love the month of March because I love the excuse to just invite over a bunch of my friends and just hang out and be just super grateful for where I'm at in life. And I'm gonna be 20, which is insane because that sounds really adulty. And I kind of had many crises leading up to being 20 because I felt like I should have done more with my teenage years and been more successful by now. But it's fine, I'm fine, I'm gonna be 20 and I'm over the moon about it. I get to start my 20s, that's so exciting. Enough about me though, let's talk about my bullet journal, which you can see me drawing here. I themed it after Crescent City by Sarah J Mass, like I mentioned in the intro as well. I adored this map so much and I adored the book, which I'm not gonna talk about because spoilers and not everyone that watches my bullet journal videos particularly wants to hear about the books, but I will just briefly mention how much I love the main characters, especially Bryce, her sassiness unmatched. I relate to her way too much, it's a little scary. And the world building and the plot and everything that happens is so good. And it's hilarious because back in 2020, when I first read the first Crescent City book, I three-starred it on Goodreads. And now reading it in 2022, I look back at old me and her audacity to give that book a three stars. It's just wild. But I will end talking about the book segment here. We can fangirl another day or we can fangirl in the comments. That's an idea. So if you've read the book and wanna chat, reach out in the comments or through Instagram. And while you're down in the comments, maybe consider subscribing if you wanna see more journal setups. I do one every single month, like I have for the past three years. But now on to talking about my actual drawing process. I love drawing book maps using my Tombow Fudunoski brush pen. It is incredible because it's a brush pen, so you can apply various amounts of pressure for various line sizes. So if I need a light, dainty line, such as the swirl on the top of the banner, I can apply very light amount of pressure. But if I need harsh shadows or just a thicker line stroke, I just push down harder. And it creates more of a hand-drawn, cartographer feel you know I feel like a cartographer when I'm doing these maps and considering that it literally is a hand-drawn map I would hope that it gave the hand-drawn map vibe we're not gonna question my logic okay sometimes I just start talking and I don't even know where my sentence is going but I do want to discuss what is happening right now on the screen which are roads now, at first glance, this map I thought was going to be a cakewalk, okay? A nice little walk in the park, if you will. And I have never been proven wrong so fast. This map was harder than both the Shadow and Bone map that I've drawn and the map found in A Court of Silver Flames because of these 
stupid roads, okay? It was so complicated, both sketching and outlining, because I didn't want lines to accidentally overlap. They all had to just be hollow on the inside, if that makes sense. And it was so complicated, and it was giving me such a headache while drawing, and I was so stressed I was gonna mess up. And I only messed up a few times, but at a quick glance, you can't really notice. And I managed to fit all the roads in, which was a whole accomplishment within itself. But as for these little background roads, as I'm going to call them, they are not accurate because I was not going to put myself through that, trying to get every single tiny line to match up to the book. So I took some nice little creative liberty because it's my journal and my drawing and I didn't want to be depressed drawing lines. <laughs> and drawing all of these itty bitty details, these little tiny diagonal lines and the polka dots and adding just a bit of texture to the background was my favorite part because one, I was finished with the complicated stuff and two, it just brought the whole piece together and I love it. And now I'm coloring a border, which was the easiest part of this whole process. And it kind of wrecked my pen a little bit, but we don't have to talk about that. And that is how this map turned out. And we're gonna move on to the calendar. And I tried to experiment more with these spreads because I mentioned in my reading journal videos how much fun I have using stickers and basically spending less time on the journal. And I wanted to bring that into my bullet journal. I wanted to enjoy my bullet journal more because it felt like such a chore to set up. So what you can see me doing here is I used a hole punch in the shape of a crescent and then fed them through a sticker machine just to make them sticky on the back because I didn't feel like using a glue stick because they're always so messy. And then I stuck them in the bottom right corner of each box. Well, in theory, the bottom right corner, I kind of messed up a lot during this setup because I was half paying attention. I was listening to the Emma Chamberlain podcast. I don't even watch her YouTube videos, but her podcast is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So I did mess up a little bit because I was quite distracted, but it's fine because it still looks good. I also have my calendar boxes spaced out, which I don't usually do, and I size the boxes seven dots by seven dots, and I actually use the Scrivewell dotted journal, which I highly recommend, by the way, if you're wanting to get into bullet journaling and you're looking for a budget-friendly and yet high-quality option, the pages really don't ghost or bleed that badly, and they're only 12, 13 bucks on Amazon compared to higher brands like Archer and Olive. Those journals range from 40 to $60, and I have to buy these every six-ish months. I can't afford to buy $50 journals every six months. Plus, these have lasted me since the start of journaling, so I don't see me stopping using Scrivewell. I added a crescent and my social media tracker in the top left. Also, my 20th birthday is this month. I just, you know, wrote that for everyone knows. I know I already talked about it, but I thought I'd mention it again. I can't believe I'm starting my 20s, it's wild. And now we're moving on to the next page, which is my mood and habit tracker page. And you may be wondering, did I regret this decision to draw circles immediately? And the answer is yes. I did, but I was committed. I literally regretted this after doing two circles. I was like, this is going to take forever. And it did, it took probably an hour, but it's fine because it looks cool. But then I had my headers, which I typed up and I created the font actually because I couldn't find the font that matched the book. So I created my own font based after the book, but not technically my own font, it was font inspired directly from the covers. But I do have a sticker sheet of it on Etsy, linked below in case you're wondering. And now onto the little character in the bottom left, which is a fire sprite from the first book. Her name is Lehaba? Lehaba? I might be butchering that name. Not might, I probably am butchering that name. And this is actually a grid drawing uh, inspired by this image that is now on your screen. Super talented artist. I will leave their information linked below. Then for the quote, it was quite fun. I combined using my sticker sheet 
and calligraphy and the quote reads my friends are behind me and i will protect them she is my favorite character from the first book so i wanted to include a quote from her so that's what i did this was also very fun because i don't do that much calligraphy anymore in my journals and i want to get back to doing it more because i love calligraphy also, for this particular style of calligraphy, I went with a more elegant and dainty look rather than the bouncy look of calligraphy I usually do. Then I'm adding some crescents with some scrapbook paper on the right and left side to add a little bit of pizzazz, but the majority of the color in this page will come from me filling out my habits, which is a little trick I do is I leave the page looking really blank, so I have to fill in my habit trackers to actually fill in the page for it looks good. So I just bully myself into doing habits, as one does. Next are my most basic spreads, but they are my most used and functional spreads. And that is my finance and highlights tracker. So my finance tracker, I basically track all my expenses. So every single dollar I spend and every single dollar I earn is tracked on my finance tracker. And then the bottom left has categories where I sort my money, emergency, apartment, savings, car, and trip, which is like saving for a vacation and the highlights page is simply a one line a day page where I write one line a day that I consider the highlight of the day and if you watched some of my other bullet journal videos you might have expected for the video to end but for the first time in over a year and a half I am making a weekly setup shocking I know I was shocked but I had been using Notion as a digital planner and it just wasn't working for me. So I thought, why not try bullet journaling? Because I do it already, I just stopped making weeklies, which is ironic considering weeklies are what makes a bullet journal. But we won't get into the semantics of whether I properly bullet journal or not. Instead, we're gonna talk about how I'm finally making a weekly, which is so cool because now I get to be creative with making different images and such for events that I'm going to like this K-pop concert. And this is the final flip through of my bullet journal themed after Crescent City for March of 2022. I really hope you enjoyed watching because I had a lot of fun setting up this journal. The most fun I've had in a long time setting up a journal. And I really hope you stick around to see more monthly bullet journal sets from me. See you in the outro. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the very end. It literally means the world to me. If you did like the video, please do give it a like for other people can see it as well. And of course, comment down below. Let me know your favorite spread or we can just chat in the comments. I respond to every single one. So I just love talking to y'all. So you don't have to, but if you want to, you totally can. And also, if you want to see more bookish and bullet drilling content from me, please consider subscribing. That would be super cool of you. If you want, you can follow me on my socials. All of those will be linked below. And that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed once again, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Toodles!